And he's well within Wes right now, so I'm just gonna lock him up here. Yep. Yeah, he's he's well within Wes. He, he'll he'll be dead. He's he would be dead if I shot. All right, eight thousand coming in. I'm off cold. Welcome back to the channel. Here we're doing some more PVP training. I have set up a 4v2 scenario with Sam's covering both sides. The blue team perform a cap in the south and the red team perform a cap in the north. About 60% of the experience was on the red team, but we were outnumbered. Red had invulnerability on, but when we got hit we dove under 5,000 feet and flew cold to respawn further north. Gump was the flight lead for red with me being number two. He did a great job, but with some minor assistance. We performed two missions, the first one blue team got swacked, and then the second one blue team did a lot better. Blue team had a lot of aha moments during the debrief, and I'm glad they learned a lot. Don't forget to check out the description for my Aviation Plus store where you can find all the shirts that I have on my channel. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. See ya! Hunter 1-2 on Uniform 14, ready in the north, two ships, green jets, airborne. Make good copies, Hunter. Good luck. A firm. See ya. All right, called out ready on uniform six. On uniform fourteen. Yeah, on uniform fourteen, I called them and, and they said they're good to go too. So it's fights on. Copy. Sweet, so why don't you go ahead and climb to thirty with me, and we'll ref to your five. Two. And if you can fence in on the climb, that'd be great. Yep, we'll do. All right, losing visual view. I'm going turning left. All right, I'll, I'll get the data down here. Contact one four two for forty. Con burn. Contact. I'm taking my shot. Copy. Like a two ship. Are right, they got jammer on? I'm turning jammer on. Yeah, good idea. He's still hot. Oh, no, he's cold. I got Strober's 20 miles. You see those cons up there to, to your right? A firm tally. Alright, uh, East Group setting up a grinder. One guy's turning back. Sending and, def and def uh, defending 10,000. 10, well, something hit me. Something hit me. I think it's a Patriot. Really? I mean, yeah. Keep... Yeah, Patriot just now went in the rings. Patriots, I'm going cold. Watch out for that Patriot, it's in a ring now. I didn't even notice it. Alpha two. Alpha yeah, two. Yeah, two just got or at least just got hit by something. I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go five thousand, low cold. Yeah, uh two's in OE. Are we calling that over uniform every time? No. 14? No, we'll, we'll just we'll just do it. So we're at two thousand now, Bible knows everybody knows. Let's uh, respawn at uh, 5240. Dude, I should have drew, drawn a plot line. Oh, I, I drew, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I think I killed Rody. I saw him defending. Someone was defending hard. He was, like, on the deck. Got contacts. Uh, bullseye 13025, 38,000. Okay, I'm hot in the burn. Yeah, they're conning. Two ship. Box three, he's cranking one, two, five, two, three, cranking left. All right, visual con. Tally con. I think it's the, I got the leading one. Data. Did 
Defending off cold hus or not even husky, just cheap shot. Altitude. Altitude. Who's beaming? Flare. He has two missiles out at me. He's defensive still. Who's clean? Seems like uh, leading target is cold five thousand. Right, he's in the burn defending. Seems like he's beaming us now. 3,000. Right, he's well within Wes right now. So I'm just going to lock him up here. He's well within Wes. He'll he'll be dead. He's he would be dead if I shot. Coming. All right, eight thousand coming in. I'm off cold. Hey, I I am cold. You said it eight thousand hot. Yeah, data. Altitude. Altitude. I'm gonna float towards steer seven. Yep, missile from that bandit. Okay, scanning. Hey, Fox 3. Cold defensive missile. I'm beaming. I think I defeated it, turn it back. Copy lead defensive. Alright, got him locked. 10,000. It's a little cold. Fox 307822, he's dead. Hit bull off the rail. If you're, if you're clean, turn back. Hot. Which just defeated. Yes, yeah, turn back hot. I got him locked. I got four seconds left. He's hit. Splash. Damn. There's a guy conning uh, south. Hold on. Tally, you got him. When we get him. Shoot him if you can. Box three. Flash. If they're gonna come up here, they're they're dead. <laughs> Are they all dead? I think they might be all dead, but we'll see. Uh, once our two's clean, turning back. I got his strobing. Go ahead and turn cold. He just blew up in a pool of smoke on the ground. Nice. All right, I'm gonna call, knock it off now. All players, knock it off, knock it off. Hunter, showtime, I have negative radio contact on any and all blue form. Copy. Copy. Oh, for your brakes? Oh, so I just hit K 
okay, run them up, and then I nod, and then we release the brakes going to burn. Yes, yep. All right, let's try that. Why not? Check on fourteen. All right, showtime. Mako, request picture. Mako, showtime. On the picture, picture right now. Four groups. Roof, leading edge, single group. Bullseye two seven one six twenty one thousand. Track northeast. Two contacts. Hostile. Hunter one airborne, ready in the north. Good luck, see ya. Hunter, one, one, magic, six, picture is two groups, azimuth split. West group, bullseye, one, two, five, three, three, twenty-nine thousand. Track, northwest, hostile. East group, bullseye, one, zero, nine, one, zero, three, twenty-four thousand. Track, northwest, hostile. Two's on station. I got a Viper right ahead. I can kill him right now. I'm gonna turn cold. Copy. I'm gonna turn sharp cold. He's defensive because I'm spiked. Yep, that's smart. Smart. Yeah, we'll just play. Let's keep it on the defense. Play it. Play around with him a little bit. Yep. Okay. Missile inbound. Defense. Neat. Defeated, it looks like he was husky. Or, uh, snipped. Looking around, see. Oh, yeah, missile, missile for me, too. Defensive. That was like an R Max shot. Altitude. Altitude. I'm gonna go up and con and draw him toward me. Maybe. Copy. I got you 20 miles. Looks like you're beaming. Yeah, I'm gonna come back around. Should be defeated by then. Oh shit, you're still defensive. Yeah, it's probably not even close. If it would've hit me by now, it's, I know it's gone. I'm just gonna go to like 33 or 35 and just con a bunch up here to make them to make him look. Copy. Two's clean. And I'm going to be out left towards you. Copy. I'll, I'll uh, turn hot uh, left. I think they're in a fur ball over there. Have a... Yeah, I think they're a fur ball over there. Far west. Something got me. Guess the invisible patriot, I guess. Hey, uh, I'm defensive uh, missile. I killed by a patriot. Back down. I think I defeated it. Still defeated. You said you got hit? Yeah, I got hit by the patriot. It doesn't come up on the RWR, but it's still shooting at you. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna shift uh, west. So I'm gonna shift west. All right, commit bullseye one one seven forty seven Strober. Send data if able. Enables Metallica. That's the trailer. Alright, got the leader. 
Fox 3, 11050. One, he's cranking and he's cold, so there's a missile coming out. I'm off cold too. Copy, I'm running to you. At 38,000. Defensive. Altitude. Altitude. A uh, clean missile, not sure where it went. Oh, back. That's yours. Alright, got him locked. Chat, flare. Oh no, still defensive. Uh, spike fit 16. Six comes on. Capture. Yep, shoot the kill. Who's clean coming back? Copy, uh, missile active. Two's hot. Okay, additional Fox 3. Bullseye 10356. 4000. Copy, I'll get the right. Two's monitoring other, other band at 20,000. Same area. We got the 18,000 guy. Haven't locked it. Oh, 16 nails uh, east. I'm going after him. Go after the, the one there. Go after the 18,000. A-firm. I'm, look, I'm looking uh, east. Okay, I'm two by long stick. I right, got a F-16 uh, bullseye 10392. Fox 3 cranking uh, east. Caution. Caution. Okay, uh, uh, leads out cold. Across the slot. Uh, data possible two ship. Yep, trailer behind him. Two's husky, all cold. Pitbull. Two's clean, turning back in. Uh, bonsai. Okay, I got this uh, second guy cold. By the data link, uh, he's cold. Defensive missile. Chat, flare. Fox 3, Altitude. bullseye. 105, 89. 6,000, strobing. Ooh boy, I'm way in the plot. I'm gonna die. Dang. Hey, go, go ahead and come back, come back north. Uh, 5-3. 5-2. We're gonna hit the deck. And then try to find you. Uh, two's coming back around, 22,000. Copy, uh, missile inbound. No, that's an H, sorry. There's a uh, bullseye 10294, uh, strober. Right, he's jamming too hard. Alright, I'll call. Alright, I'm gonna call knock it off. All players, knock it off, knock it off. Okay, we had a uh, 
got a knock it off. Make a copy. Mustang copy. Uh, so that's it. End game. So we can tank, um, and then we can come back, and we'll let you guys know. Got hey, one. I... That one felt a whole lot better. It did. Uh, oh, that one person. Some interesting things happened. I yes. think uh, Blue changed their tactics a little bit, huh? Oh, yeah. Both got one. Cool. Yeah. All right. Good. Back. Nice. Everyone out the server, server. Copy right, that. Stand by. It. All right. I'm out. Takes a little bit. Well, the, the IVC is the one that borks your IVC stuff. Um. Attack view. Alright. Attack me. And. Stop recording. Yeah, I'll have a video of that attempt at air refueling. I don't know if. It, oh, it's the... almost like. It took me like five minutes to not be able to get gas, and then you. I peeled off and dove and hit the runway, and. And then you were like getting gas like a minute after I peeled off. Oh, okay. So. I'm curious why people are having problems with tanking. It's uh, very strange. What what setup do you have, uh, Bible, for uh, the Hodus? Uh, Warthog. Yeah, I don't have that. A lot of feedback from oh, somewhere. Oh, so, so you're saying it's a controls issue? I think it's a controls issue. It's just a cheap encoder in the flight stick that I have. Okay, okay. I thought this was an issue with like the tanker brain just refusing to give you fuel. No, uh, that's 4.36. There was an issue. We, Me, Lee, and a couple other folks, I think, I don't know who else is there. Um, we did have a tanker brain issue. Yeah, this Hawk, I mean, uh, Patriot, it just doesn't come up at all on your RWR. But it comes up when the missiles are Pitbull or equivalent, whatever, but... I, nice. It was nothing. Like I just got swacked. I'm like, okay. Take a look. I'm I'm not watching yet. So yeah, we got feedback on their mic. Yeah, it's someone. I think mailman. It's mailman. It's mailman. So our first tactic was just to, well, initially we were gonna not shoot anything, but uh, yeah, we shot one. So our plan was, oh. yeah, that hit. Yeah, that, that was me. me. That, so our plan was to shoot at like super max, like whatever the top carrot is, and just scare you a little bit. Yeah, which, which you did thirty, yeah, thirty-one miles. Yeah, that's that's pretty far. And before I knew it, it that thing was like he was just screaming in. He must have been screaming in because the carrot dropped into the, um, below the the top of the, where the bracket starts. Yeah. Sorry, I can't, I got to write this down and just keep a piece of paper next to me and remember what those, um, Oh, the, uh, yeah, that's, that's when I fired at our pie 22 miles yeah. away. I think it was I think our pie before I knew it, it was below our pie. And I was like, what the hell? So that's when you called me and you're like, are you sure you shot him at like max? I'm like, I thought I, I thought I, I did. Yeah. 30 is pretty max. Uh, it's pretty far. Yeah, he waited until yeah, I waited till like twenty mi yeah. Yeah. So that thing was like halfway there, but exactly. it really off. Yeah. Still going to Mach two, yeah, still going Mach two. Yeah, I was and afraid I shot shot too late when I was too close to him because that, that's not what our plan was. But yeah. I think I followed the plan. Yeah, you shot Is at thirty miles, yeah. That was basically the plan. So, so yeah, if you if you notice, Brody, if if they go crank like that in your FCR, you should you just mm -hmm. assume that they shot. Copy that. Yeah, that's especially my fault. Is this the second fight or first fight? The first one, very first one. Oh, look at those Patriot missiles. Yeah, they were they were going cool. after us. Can you can you boost your mic somehow? Because we could like I can barely hear you. That's away from my face. That's why. Oh, I see. Put the mic away from my face. Let's you move your face down, back down. Yeah, move your face closer. To your yeah. Mic. No, just kidding. F figure it out. Yeah, I, 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 I died from the Patriots. So I did the, the death. I went back 5,000 and then came back. And then, uh, yeah, saw this, saw the crank. 
Uh, let me speed it up. So I foxed and uh, I saw the crank. So I'm gonna crank a little bit, and then I, I don't. I think I got the missile lock and I came off. And uh, did I get hit? Oh. I don't. I don't think they hit you. I think only we only the first go we only got hit by patriots. That was like super close. Jesus. And you're not chaffing and flaring either. Oh, there you nope. go. Good. Yeah, with yeah. this, if you if you beam it and you're far enough, you you can you could uh just kill just it off the energy. really really yeah. quick. And I turn. I I didn't know. I didn't see it. I just turned at the moment that it needed to be turned. I know one of these engagements. I was calling you, and you're like, "I'm still defensive." Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, "Holy shit!" Still defensive. And and for this, like, you guys need to split up. I don't know why you're holding hands here. Let's see how how far away. One mile. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, yeah. Try try to set up a, a grinder. Like one one person gets five miles behind, or or something to kind of initiate that that grinder scenario. Yeah, that's what we did on the second. Because right here, we we kind of had a a split. We were our plan was to have like a split uh, counter rotating cap. Um, but we were distance, what was our distance I like? we were doing a, uh, line of breast cap. Well, yeah, like, like, I was on this side, you were over here, and we were, like, doing a, uh, counter-rotating cap with us on each side. Six and seven, or seven and eight. With the, we have a 14-mile separation here. Yeah. So our plan was to stay within the SA-6 whiz. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. I saw. I was. That got super close. Yeah. Y'all both got super close. So, so right here, I was like, "All right, he's close. I'm just gonna turn cold." Um, I just turned cold, stayed above. Well, I, I forgot how to get back above five thousand, and then I I was spiked sixteen. I'm like, "All right," so I'm just kind of defending a little bit because I don't know what's happening. Then I got a missile call, put it straight on the beam. Missile going out at him. Beated it. I'm I'm clean now, so I go straight to you, and I just fox. You're done. So who's like, that? Oh, it's mailman. Mailman. Like six miles. I was like, yeah, this, this guy's done. I remember you calling that. Yeah. You're like he's super close. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> he's like you're like he's way too close. Yep. I, I gotta kill, I'm kill him. both of them. Like they're they're way too close. Did my missile? Where did my missile? Oh, there it is. So I'm defend. Oh. I, I fire and then I'm defending, I think. Oh, and I'm shooting at somebody way out there. And you kill both of these guys, it looks like. Yeah, I had... Yeah, nails that, did this, and then when I defeated this... Oh. What was that? No, no, you're good. Keep keep going. I was just... I was gonna say, like, right here, I'm not tracking this dude, like, right three miles on my ass. Oh, yeah. I was uh, trying to defend a missile, so. And then I spotted visually, the the trail, the uh, the cons. I was like con south, too, uh, yep. really high, and I saw him. I and went I... went to dogfight mode, looked up, locked him up, and boxed. And I got tally on those cons real quick when I turned back in. Yeah, it was, it was conning. I was like, oh. Altitude? 34. And here, I was defensive now. Dump is hot. That was an I interesting defense. Him. Oof. Yep. So, so kind of, I guess... What I would have done in that in that case, if I was that viper, the green viper, I would have turned cold probably. Yeah, uh, you spoke fixated. I, I would assume so. Fixated, yeah. you, you get locked by another viper. Uh, it's like situation awareness zero, so you basically just flow cold. It looks like he wants to flow cold, yeah. and then he turns back in. Yeah, so he's trying to. Interesting defense maneuver there, and it it's a good experiment, I guess. Yeah. 
And I don't know who that is because it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't say on here. All right, because we're out outside of the the ring or something. Let's quickly go over over this. So you guys did split up two flights. Uh, one coming from this way, another one coming from is here. It, this is the first go ingress. Yeah, this first first uh first sight. And and Bible. Feel free to chime in and and kind of explain what what you were doing. I know you had uh, you're calling these groups, so they weren't really anything. Yeah, eventually, I think um, I think it was Mako in the west. They switched and they moved over towards the east. Okay, so they were they were spread out. They were doing trying to get the whole coast or the whole border. The problem that I think was going on in the first engagement, we had many times where they should have fired. And they did not. And one of the issues was uh, Cools hung stores. Yeah. Um, but it seemed like in other cases, it was um, they weren't able to correlate the information I was giving them with finding something on the radar. Okay. Because there were many times people were turning off and they should have fired. Like right here, I'd say this is a prime example. We got yeah. up to like 20 miles. If you're going to get if you're going to get up to the Mar and you don't have a lock, if you don't have sight of them. I mean, you probably should have turned off before the Mar. But where was this, I guess, Mako? Were you uh, tracking that Hunter was there? So, as you can initially see, yes. Unless that's... Uh, oh, that's, that's a, yeah, it's just locked. Radar. Yeah, you're uh, locked on to him, so yes. Yes. However... Um, we were only doing a more of a supportive role. Okay. I believe at this time also Mustang fires. But I'm yeah, they not did fire. Sure. Yep, they fired something. So we went cold and we decided to be more of a decoy in case you get, uh, you followed. Okay. Yeah. And he, he did. And the, the Patriots got him. So we were dead. Yeah. So it that, it that was, was kind cool. of a, a stupid move. But somehow I just felt it should work out if everything goes well for us, at least. Yeah, it it mostly worked out. Only one one person got hit, but it worked out for you. Uh, Gump, were you? Did, did you not shoot at them for a reason, or I don't think you locked them up? Does it look like? What does it look like here? I I did not. Lock yeah, you them did up. not lock them up. I I don't recall whether I was tracking them or not. Whether I was getting returns from them, but I locked at them up this then. Point, I also was say again. You, you locked them up then, but they were cold and and yep. yeah. So and then was... I and I realized I think I'm like so I don't have the flat line on my oh yeah yep on my radar at this point. The second go I did, so I wasn't tracking how far I was into uh, South Korea, so I turned cold and then got hit by a Patriot. Cool. And then we dive and and then reset here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you guys are super high. Turned back hot, and I was like thirty four thousand. I was like Jesus. <laughs> so I just boxed and just turned off. I'm like I'm I'm done. Look at this thing halfway there. Like I'm out. Like I was looking at that Mar, and I was like I I turned a little earlier than uh Husky, like A ten or something. But I knew there was a missile. I saw you cranking. I'm like there's a missile coming. Was, Absolutely. No, no. I heard you call call uh, defensive there, or like, you know, whatever the call was. And yeah. I, I didn't have any indication, so I was like, yep. "All right, fuck these guys. I'm going to go hit them." Exactly. Right? Just keep pressing. Yep. So I send one. I can keep them busy there. They're both defensive. And I think I, think I felt hot. bad because I killed Rody. <laughs> Yeah, I saw Rody go up one. Don't worry about it. No, don't our, our, worry. Our about intention it. was not to kill anybody on the first. Yeah. On the first, first engagement. Off, first off, it was my fault. I shouldn't have brought us that close. So no, it's not. It's not Rody's fault. It's my fault in that scenario. If you see the second one, that's got a lot better. I think it doesn't help that one. Yeah, I've led before, but I haven't led a PvP one. You know, okay. I don't have two experience okay. with PvP. Who's oh, that? No. Wait, who's Wait, that? Can you that back that up real killed? quick? Yeah, who just got killed by uh, Prime? Oh, man, oh, man. He's man. way in there. I was watching you on TGP. I was like, this guy is like really low. I don't know what he's doing. Wait, 
Then who's the guy in the sky? 32,000. This guy cold here. 32,000. And then mailman. That's definitely not me. It must be, it must be you, I guess. Lee? Huh. Remember, this is first go. So yes, it's first. Little, first one. A little while Oh, this ago. is the first one? Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yes. See, see, when he turns cold, like there's nothing you could do at that point. He probably he's not tracking me, obviously, and he just gets spiked by an F-16. He's like, uh, well, <laughs> like there's nothing you can do, and yeah, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Yeah, because even or right before you lock me on, there's no RWR warning that you're close. Oh, it's not even nails. It's just blank, clean. No, yeah, it's just clean. Wow, went from nothing to so, spiked and. I believe it was uh, Bible's call out actually called out the rightmost target on the screen right now. Yeah, interesting. Well, so, the, so the fact that you didn't have nails doesn't it actually makes sense, right? Because if you prime, if you go back to where you're locking this dude, yeah, up, I'm I'm, I'm mailman. STT on mailman. Yep. So, so your it, your your radar cone is like like way below yeah. the yeah. altitude where he's at. And then where, I where Lisa, and yeah. I switch and it goes straight. I, I literally dogfight mode, look up, lock, and then yeah, let's go from there. But yeah, keep that in mind. Dogfight mode. If you're really if you're that close, look up within seven miles or ten miles. You can just lock them up. Go back to missile uh, mode, and your aim one twenty is now available and locked. Did you record this, Prime? Yes, I did. I'm going um, to have to watch that. You shouldn't have to switch out of dogfight well, if you don't have any Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. Heaters. That's true, but it, it didn't. I didn't think of that at the moment. I just went literally a button. And there's also missile step, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm interested to see the mechanics of how that works, because I'd never used dogfight. I heard Prime calling, hey, I'm in dogfight. Like, yeah, what? I've used that before, and it works really well. It does. Especially when you're close or in a cloud, like you're just like I don't know where he went. And you're just like and looking around. Honestly, you oh, can be there. looking around and just have uh, I think it's TMS down to get the line down the center of your HUD. Yes. Yeah. You can look around and as soon as a target crosses that line, it locks it up. And and I think it's twenty degrees. Um, like if you're flat, if you're straight and level. So it's still it's twenty degrees up. It'll also search twenty degrees up. So you could you don't it doesn't have to be where your HUD is. So it'll it'll lock yeah. it'll lock in front of your HUD and it'll lock twenty degrees above your HUD. Now I think the maximum lock range is what five miles? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. But if you use the head mounted queuing system dogfight lock, I think that's ten miles. I think so. Well, they were already up. I didn't know that. Oh, really? so that's that's our second. No, yeah, that's, that's the other. Hawk. Yeah, that's the yeah, other yeah, other yeah, flight. Because right. our second flight was like Mako. Well, this is the red second red flight. Yeah, no, I thought our second red flight was called Mako, but I. I oh, this was Mako. Could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mako. That's uh, last time. Is this to. It's the second first one. First engagement. First engagement so of second second one. Yeah, we go into um, a split point. We split, go like 10 to 15 to 20 miles uh, line of breast ish That was our plan for both. Yep. Both goes. Go over here. Training these guys. So let's go back over here. So run me through what's going oh. on yep. on here. So cools, what, what's going on in your brain? Cool. Um, I can hear that. Let me wait one second. Okay. Okay, I, I was remember this engagement. going on. Yeah, I remember this engagement. Okay, now uh, I can hear you well. I wasn't seated incorrectly. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is the first engagement of the second mission, sortie. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys are still super close. Yeah. 
What, what's the distance there between red and blue? 25. A and... shot at 28. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Same altitude, a 4,000 yeah. difference. Yeah, wasn't... and to be... So... Go ahead, go ahead, Cools. Wasn't it a lot? I mean, wasn't it 22, though? The Mars thing? Yeah. Yeah, minimum oh, okay. abort range. Right? Oh, abort. Minimum. Okay. Right? That's right, Prime? Yeah, minimum abort. Yeah. It's not the ideal uh thing to shoot at. Your ideal is probably like, yeah, 30, 28. Especially with PvP, you gotta give it off really early to make them a little defensive. Did, did you guys sort? Yeah, or there's only one. I believe you did. Yeah, so someone's locked onto me. I, I, I remember getting a missile too. I, I remember him, him being defensive and I'm like, alright, so I'm just gonna lock onto you. He's cold, so I'm just monitoring. And I got a missile warning. I'm like, I guess I'll I'll defend now. So I started defending. Let me see what the distance is. Like I got a. So yeah, about nine miles or ten miles or so. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we split our targets. Like I yeah, said, I believe he said, "Want to go for right? You go for left." And yeah, it went out exactly how you wanted that one. Yep, I was really worked happy out about very that. well. Got us both defensive, and and there's there's nothing in the air. Like there's no no missiles. No, we're all cold. So if you see. You're 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 clean. Turn back, like obviously straight and level, because you got the, the the dead zones. So straight and level for a couple seconds, and then come straight back, uh, back north. If, if you want to, you don't have to, but that's the the point in time you would turn back, because because we didn't shoot anything. That's a bonsai, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's it's bonsai. If, if you if you go out, and then you you just turn back because you're clean. Should have turned back. Okay. Yeah. I see why. Yeah, you wait like I twenty that, twenty something I think seconds. We were too scared. I think that's, I was just too scared after that first fight. That's fair. <laughs> that's understandable. Yeah, you you'll you'll get these cues and, and it'll be second nature to you. Yeah, be, be, I need experience. It's just I don't have experience. Cause, cause if you were if you were hot, so here we're defensive or defensive, and and we're cold. So you, there's nothing on your RWR. There's no missiles. So you turn hot now. Now we're stuck. Both of us are cold now. Mm -hmm. So you just go north as long as far as you want. To kind of push us back or get off another missile the moment we turn back hot. So, so you just you'll turn hot, you'll uh, sort out, lock lock one of them up. The moment you start seeing them turn around, they'll start turning, then come hot, then just fire off and then turn back cold, and it'll make them go defensive more. I think from Red's perspective, this engagement we lock them up just to scare them. Yes, and then we turn cold. Yep. Yeah, we purposely didn't 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 do anything. Yeah, uh, he scared us. That's for sure. He scared me. <laughs> nice. Good. 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 It worked. Yeah, I was like, just lock them up. It's like SDTs. Like, hear the thing in your. Yeah, it must have been crazy. I think yeah. when he did that, that's when I fired and turned gold because I was worried. Like, oh, they shoot a missile at me. I need to turn. Yep. Very good. Um. So that, that went oof. the plan from red from red's perspective. Uh, we'll continue with, with these guys. Lesson learned on blue. Yeah, he's, I knew he was shooting at me. I think he got me again. The Patriot? Yeah. Oh, I did hear you call. I don't know if it was this one or one further down. So with this one, I didn't get a lock, but Brody did, so he shot and I didn't. Yeah, so, so yeah, you're you, you, cold before it's too late. Yeah, you're you're you got the separation now. So you're closer, so you you have the ability to make a decision and turning back cold was a good decision. And then have Rhodey come in and shoot off that missile because he's farther away. He has more time to to think. Mm -hmm. And this missile's for you. So if you wouldn't have uh, uh, turned off cold, you would have got hit by the missile. Yep. And I believe I did turn and try to go defensive. I was trying to beam it. I think that worked pretty well. I got hit by a Patriot. I'm on the deck. Yep. I I recall that you uh, tell me that you're hit by Patriot. You're cold for sixty. And uh, Bible, did it translate well? We went below the 5,000. You kind of understood what that meant, if if it ever came up, in a sense? Honestly, that kind of slipped my mind during the whole thing. Okay. Um, I did see you guys diving at some points, but it wasn't clear to me that you guys were hit. For some reason, I was expecting it to be broadcast, even though I know Lee said you guys didn't have to, and you said, all right. <laughs> I yeah. the whole conversation. But just in the middle of the whole thing, it just uh, that's where I kind of stopped paying attention to altitude. Okay. I think here, you could call it. Well, I mean, call it on uniform. I, I wouldn't want to be intrusive on the uniform. Like I don't want to be on there. But think yeah. of like a 
like a red flag scenario. They, it's, I mean, that's what happens. Well, they might do it so, on guard. I don't know what they do. Um, I was actually thinking about that before we even started this whole thing. And I don't know if this can actually be done, but squawking. No, yeah, that's what, me and Prime. I brought that up to Prime like what, like a month ago. Yeah, but it doesn't. What, what is it? For whom? Like, who does it? It's AWACS isn't going to see anything. No, it's literally a general broadband uh, transmission being constantly broadcast by your aircraft. Yeah, but so, it's like, what is uh, that? What does that do? Either you, I'm not getting like, what would that do? Like, I squawk, I don't know, fifty five. Now what? Um, any aircraft that picks you up on their radar, or uh, if it is also radio, it'll let them know, hey, there's something wrong with this aircraft, depending on what code you put in. But but who who's who's doing that? Who who's who's interrogating the the fifty five? It's not an interrogation. It's literally you turning on your jammer when you're squawking that certain frequency and then turning it off when you're no longer dead as a reference. But I don't know if BMS has that capability. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So it doesn't I have was, that. Right, and I was trying to think of some other way we could do it. That yeah, way, I, I, the players... I know how it yes, works in real life, GCI. but... but I, in, in the, I, didn't, I, didn't, I knew it didn't implement in the game, so I was like, what, what, does, that, what does that do? It was yep. just something I was thinking about. Okay. No, yeah, I know you guys can't either turn on or turn off your jammers because you're dead. So we know even in the middle of combat, if you're not hit, you can turn it off and turn it back on. So mm -hmm. a jammer can't simply be used. And smoke is out of the question, too. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, like it's an accurate you can change it. It's an accurate scenario. If you shoot someone, they're going to descend. True. So it's literally the same thing. So you descend, and you just have to know. You have to develop that that uh that skill to notice that the person's descending. And then if he passes through five thousand, then he's dead. Yeah, a lot of that was just I don't know, just kind of slipped my mind. I thought I was doing some things okay, and other things not so well tonight. Oh. So um, that was one of the things I really just didn't pay attention to. But I only noticed it, like, I think once or twice that you guys were a lot lower than I would have expected. Okay. Um, something I noticed on the RWR, and I don't know if I noticed this in 3.5, but two missiles are going to be launched at me here in maybe 30 seconds. That was you then. That was, that was, me. was that me versus you? Not me and, uh, and Lee. No, actually, I think it was uh, Gump's missiles. Because I launched like three or That's, four. That one I didn't even pop up, but right over your name tag, Prime, there's a missile in the air right there. And a second one shortly follows it. Where it came from, I don't know. Came yeah, from me. But the closer one was spiked. The aft one was nails. Yeah, because there's two, and it it just kind of goes after the. I didn't realize it would show them both. Oh yeah, I'd never really notice either. Interesting. I recall this engagement for sure because I fired I think three total shots at you, and I'm I'm capture. Um. And I'm watching you defend. Yeah, that 120 that hit me, <laughs> a 180. <laughs> They're coming after you. And yeah, third that's, one. That's the third one, yeah. Because I'm not sure whether you're dead. Yeah, so I wasn't sure whether you were hit or not, so I just lobbed a third one at you. You didn't hear me. I was not on 14. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. We tried to use our, our AWACS, but for some reason it landed or something, so it didn't work for half of wow. the time. It was yep. weird. We thought you guys killed it. We did. First, we thought you guys it? shot no. it down. 
That definitely was. I was like those motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, the sneaky little bastards! <laughs> they somehow got it, in there. It's definitely something I would do. Yes. Yeah. So Lee, I was out for blood here. Oh, I'm sure you were. <laughs> yep, because I saw I I fired the first shot and that was kind of like a lob shot. I saw you defending, and then the my my uh you know the the symbology got to the right place where I was like, oh, I'll take another shot. And evidently the second one hit you. And the third one, when you were defending, you were defending south. I'm sorry, you were defending north. Yeah, and turn back. I was hot. like, yeah, look, yep, yeah, I'm gonna send another one. And that right there, for everyone else, that's what I was referring to before we even started. What? So, when I politely kicked you out of the channel, I was talking oh, about stuff? this exact thing. Yeah. yeah, I was like... Because with the Russian ones, you can use the 27 and the 77 in parallel. Oh, yeah. But with the 120, you have to break it up maybe 30 seconds between each shot. Uh-huh. Since what the missile only has a a minute life. Yeah, something, something like that. Here. All right. I got to go though. It's All right. already 12:30. Thanks Later. for coming. See ya. Later, man. So I think I this is fools and oh yeah, we had I had to keep distance because I had to go defensive. So I said, "Rody, go up front. I'll deal out our support." What is your distance? Five miles. That's that's good enough. Oh, stop it! Yeah, see, I I had a missile and I was already cold. So yeah, missile yeah, yeah, cold. I, I saw that. Man. Oh, that missile came for me. Oh yeah. Oh, Whoa, oh. No. that was your mistake right there. You turned hot. Yeah, I thought I dodged the missile, and then it immediately came back in my RWR. I'm like, oh. I did notice that, too. Definitely had this guy. a missile. And I, 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 and I, I did snip it. I snipped it, and it was like, oh, look, pizza candy, and went straight after you. So what he's saying, Prime, is that when he turns back hot, Blind right spot. There. Yeah, the blind, blind spot. spot yep. the yep. oh, blind blind spot. spot. I completely Because I, I, I got the blind spot too, but I kept going cold. Yes. This mission, like one the of these missions. Oh my God. I didn't even think about the blind spot. I just oh, ended up seeing another bad. missile pop up. I yeah. I the best quote, about that. Oh my God. The best quote was uh, when Cool was turning back. He's like, should I turn back now? I'm like, well, I can see you're doing it already. So, so here's the yeah. coordinates. And then all of a sudden, his last transmission was, "Oh no, he fired another one." Oh no, it was my own. Yeah, my only because I think that Rody, did you get defensive or something? I'm guessing you did. Yeah, it did. somewhere, somewhere saw, here. I saw a missile up. Yeah. I went defensive. Oh, it's, <laughs> is it because I spiked you? Was it me that spiked him up? Uh, yeah, you both. Oh, you spiked for like a second. Yeah, because I remember you calling this, and you were like, ah, I'm defensive, cold. Yep. I was so excited, because I thought I dodged the missile. I'm like, oh, I Because C- when you think about it, when you th- like five seconds of M, it's not gone. Yeah. Like, it's going to last longer than five seconds, or ha- like 10, yeah. 10, 20 seconds. It's going to be a good while before it disappears. So I turned cold, I tried to beam it, top the chaff, and I thought I'd ate it, because, you know, the missile warning went away. So I'm like, oh, perfect. Yeah. And then, yeah, I turned cold, and yeah, feels bad. I completely forgot about that blind spot, though. I gotta remember that stuff. Yeah, it's when, when, you, when you're when you about to, to determine if you need to turn cold or not, you just keep wings level for a couple seconds. Yeah, they gotta do that next time. All right. Lesson learned. Didn't have any speed. What happened there? Oh, you shot it a little. Oh, you shot it at him. But he disappeared, therefore went to Rody. Yeah. And it was and like it was Rody's really like cold. the perfect trajectory. <laughs> yeah. Too. Yeah, but the missile went dumb, so And I was like, You're way too far south, so he just was acting dead and came back north. Yeah. I must say though, this match, at least in my end, felt a lot better. 
it, but yeah, yeah, it, it, it definitely was. Learned from him, so, yeah. yeah. Here, there, at the flot, turn back. Instantly knocked decided, it off. Decided to try to go get gas. Yeah, and, and that's that's it. Yeah. Seems like a lot more transpired, but that that was it. Oh yeah, let me see. Oof. A question. Uh, Rody. Yeah. You had this. You had this ring, or you didn't have the ring because it was it was wasn't yeah, able to was see it. Right but but there. you were you were really close. You yeah, know, and, and Bible told me I was I was getting ready to trespass. As soon as you told me I was getting ready to trespass, I turned around and it got me. Yeah, it was too late. And, yet. and I called it. I called it on uniform. I SA six got me. Got me. <laughs> Oh, Dang you, SA6. Yeah, I had warned you about that SA6, and you kept wandering into it. Yeah, I heard you call, and, and, and I started turning. And... Oh, you went right for it? Yeah, you, you literally, <laughs> literally, like, pure... <laughs> like, it's literally... like you took the, the call as a heading to fly yeah, to. Yeah, like, cool. That's unfortunate. Oh, one more thing you might want to see is, um, I believe it was Lee and Mailman had an engagement in the West in this. Oh, this yeah, I remember. I was going to do that later. Let's see. Where are they at? This was actually pretty interesting. It was like everything went wrong, and then it went right. Yeah, I was tracking them. I looked over there, saw a whole bunch of um, strobers, and I did a mode four. There was one four that came back. I'm like, all right, I guess they're in a furball. And I continued over here. Yeah, I heard that call. I wasn't sure what you were talking about. They commit. So they this were coming one. in with radars off, I believe, at first, oh, okay. and then them on for this. But I don't understand yeah. how that shot like, I think that's doesn't a, track anything. Maybe a mad dog he tried to do? Like, without the radar, like, He's radar off, he, mad dog. Yeah. If I recall correctly, we tried to turn in and uh, to support. Oh, but yeah, you, you're busy, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. If they have their own problems, like you both got your own problems. Yeah. At this point, I was telling them, like, just I was telling them to fly towards the Sams. I was vectoring them out here. Yep, got one of them. And then we got the one, and I was like, okay, keep going. <laughs> Mailman was doing a great job here. Yeah, look at missiles. that. So what was the thought process, Mailman, of sending you guys out to the, um, what is that, the east? Oh, the west. Yeah, the, this is the north, west. north up. I'm going to figure this out at some point in my life. Like, if I'm looking south, my left is my east. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. Right is my yeah, west. It's, it's backwards. <laughs> yep. Backwards. So the point here, they were, this group came up early, and so they were investigating this group because they, they were a lot earlier than, yeah, than anything else. Engaged. They were up there already. They were capping by the time we got in. So they were like way took off before we yeah. took off. Yeah, I guess they were earlier than us, but it worked out well because we I thought they were later than us. So did I. I guess not. Yeah. No, I mean you could see like they were getting close, so we thought yeah, it'd be kind of good to at least check out. Yeah. Well, that was a good call. And then they they're like yeah, sniffing the Sam's it. here. The Sam's uh, saved them. I think it was a Sky Guard and a Hawk. Yeah. Definitely a little cap here. They commit. Mad Dog doesn't do anything. Yeah, it broke Mar. Well, I mean, he doesn't have a radar on, yeah. so I mean, yeah. You gotta note that, though, that uh, I, I was calling ranges to them. Okay. So they knew that. Um, but yeah, we, we gotta make sure everyone knows Mad Dog uh, missiles have been nerfed in 4.36. You can't oh. do what we did in TVT. Aha. Uh -huh. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, because apparently what they were doing is, um, if you'd mad dog and there's a target, it would just instantly know where to go. Yeah, and it would loft. Right off. And it's like it would have like a proper loft fire. Timeout. Yeah, it would actually loft it, or apparently, or or I think it could. And uh, so they were like, okay, no, no, no more of this lofting. That's not how mad dogs are supposed to work. It's supposed yeah. to be a visual, uh, you know, a visual shot of something right in front of you. The fact that it does its own tracking and everything, even before Pitbull, right? 
Well, before Pitbull, it's getting the information from your radar, so that's why you lock them up to yeah. give the missile data or location it's information. Mad Dog. <laughs> but yeah, Mad Dog. It just like yeah, turns little radar on. It's like, where is he? There he is. But in this case, I think I could be wrong, but I think in four point three five, a Mad Dog would just like it would be like a perfect lock if there was something out there and they're with the right parameters, and it wouldn't even go Pitbull until it got like closer. Yeah, it would still know where it is, though, where the they are, though. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, go. They fix that up. And now I was reading in the the manual, the updated F sixteen manual, and they removed that that option. You cannot mad dog anymore. It's not a thing. They all didn't they also remove um, the brevity? Metallica? No, they moved Mad Dog from the brevity. I don't know about Metallica. It still makes yeah, sense. I, th I thought Metallica got removed as well. Oh, maybe. I don't remember. I'm making this up. I thought somebody told me that, but Metallica was just Strovers, right? Yeah, Metallica is someone told you to to uh, target something, but they're strobing. So Metallica is I see them, but unable to target because they're strobing. Hmm. And one point about that is that it doesn't mean I'm not going to target them. It just means I'm having trouble yeah. and I'm going to keep trying. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing to uh, so to throw in there. Never heard Metallica in real life. Interesting. Yeah, I'm almost certain somebody said it got removed at one point. Same with Mad Dog, but I, I, I don't remember who told me that. It's still pertinent in this. Like we still need it. And uh, well, we're still in that era, you know, yeah. in BMS, where like Mad Dogs and Metallica and all this. It's like, yeah. I mean, one thing I'd love to see is the advanced jamming uh, features. I think that because uh, I don't think they they implemented the whole ECM panel yet. Oh no, they got lights, but that's they about have it. Lights, yeah.